Frankie, we've got the Cheetos macaroni and cheese. Today on Boxback, we're doing it. If I didn't get 30 messages saying you have to try this new Cheetos Mac, I didn't get one. There has been a lot of interest in having us try this Mac, so much so that you had to go on a quest. Yeah, I didn't realize at the time it was a Walmart exclusive. I don't know if it will continue to be or what the story is. Maybe they're debuting at Walmart yeah. and then they'll spread out if they do well or something. Yep. In any event, I went to the Fall River one first because normally that has more stock. Yep. And they actually only had the red one. Okay. That was it, and, yeah. and, and this cup. So I went all the way to the Dartmouth one and they had pretty good stock and I was able to get all three. Then we were also sent them in by fans. So we're gonna have the fan ones. They have a cup per variety, but at both Walmarts I went to, I could only get the jalapeno. Cheesy jalapeno. They're all spirals. Sometimes the pasta that they use is very low quality in these, so it, I'm a little concerned. It makes sense thematically because Cheetos, the snack, is like a spirally. Indeed. Flaming Hot, which is brilliant red, which is a little disturbing to me. Well, do you remember when we had the Flaming Hot skeletons for Halloween snack? Yes, I and do. And we were like, wow, this is just too freaking hot. Yeah. We're gonna try the Flaming Hots. Oh my God, they're super red. They look like they're gonna burn me to a crisp. I don't know anybody who wants to just snack on something horribly spicy. I have to like stop. They're too hot for me. I fear it might be the same thing here. We're gonna see. And of course we've got Bold and Cheesy, which is the base brand. Now supposedly these are all about a dollar. At 96 cents. They are oversized boxes, but they are not oversized portions. They're 5.9 ounces versus seven. And I think we're gonna see a lot of empty space inside. No, actually, it's pretty full. Because those are actually pretty big spirals. Yeah, they're huge spirals, way bigger than I thought they would be. It's got the key branding right on front. I mean, Chester the Cheetah. Who I associate with like cocaine addiction or meth addiction. Yeah, because there's a meme. I think a Family Guy joke or something. Yes. It ain't easy being cheesy. It ain't easy being cheesy and he's snorting the cheese. Yeah, it's right. funny, it's good comedy. <laughs> uh, and then I also noticed that they had a Baby Shark Max. Gloria ended up trying and quite liked. It was a really good flavor. It was Nickelodeon. Does she branded. still like the Baby Shark? She's kind of moved on from Baby Shark, right? She'll on occasion, she'll start singing it. Yeah. She'll be like, do, 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 do. I was gifted a nice new mask Ooh. by our friend and fan, Amy Sater Brown, who made it out of that mac and cheese material. Oh, look at that. That from looks great. The, the quilt that we were gifted. The I stitching didn't... is noodles. It is a grand and beautiful thing. So you can wear it like this, or you can reverse it because she had that other mac and cheese kind of yes, inspired. Yes, long noodle. The blue. If you need something a little more formal for the evening. Yes. If you're going to a mac and cheese banquet. That's really nice. I really like that. Pretty good, right? So the first time I ever wore this out was when I was going to Walmart to go buy these. Yep. So imagine, if you will, a man in a mac and cheese mask making off with all the mac and cheese. <laughs> I only realized it later where I was like, that must be, sick. I'm literally buying nothing else but mac and cheese. Especially if you had been wearing the box mac shirt as well. Which I wasn't, and I, I used self checkout, so nobody really oh, got to no, see you, it. You should get a mask for every shopping trip of whatever. <laughs> like, I'm only buying cereal today, Milk. and I just want Cheerios on the mask. Not only does it look awesome, and is it custom, and all that nice stuff, but it actually feels really good. It kind of fits my face perfectly. Yeah, it's got a really good shape to it. Excellent work. So this is my, this is my new favorite mask. Thank Lovely. you, Amy. More or treasures from Amy Sater Brown. Just have to make sure that for the jalapeno, we don't have to add in any like little mix or anything. Doesn't Jala freaking peño. Jala freaking peño. We've had jalapeno max on the show. Yep. We had a Velveeta one. We did. It was okay. Big old flakes of jalapeno. Huge flakes. Ooh, spicy though. That hasn't really hit me yet. The spice? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of spicy. It's pretty spicy, Frankie. Uh, I don't like it. First of all, it's... it's... <laughs> wow, it's really spicy. I am concerned about the flame and hot. Let me ask you this. Do you ever get canker sores? Very rarely. In your mouth? I've gotten them like chronically my whole life. Yeah? Uh, and my family gets them. After years of trying all kinds of different remedies, yep. uh, like my dad would give me like a like a numbing cream or something, yeah. just, nothing seemed to help other than time. Nina was like, I wonder if having a, a different, like a sensitive toothpaste would help. And it really did. Really? And let, let me tell you, when you have like a burning hot canker sore in your oh, mouth God. all day, it ain't easy. It ain't easy being cankasaurus. Being cankasaurus. I went to the dentist recently and yep. I had to have an air abrasion filling. Yeah. I have kind of a small mouth. Yeah. They just kind of stretch you out because I got to get a lot of material in there. Do They're not, not careful about like nicking a piece of your gum or something. <sighs> They're just doing what they got to do. You know, because anytime like you cut the gum, it kind of turns into a canker sore. Yep. I got like three of these things from this denti dentist trip. I've recovered from two and yep. I've got one right on the corner of the inside of my mouth. And the notion. The notion of two spicy mac and cheese. That this bright red mac and cheese is gonna be anywhere near that canker sore. 
pre-dread. And I do want to be clear with the audience, actually, because yeah. I've noticed that some people confuse canker sores with cold sores, and they're not the same. They aren't. No. I'm confused. I think they have common properties. Okay. A cold sore is like when you have like a pussy thing outside your lip. Oh. This is all inside the oh, mouth. Oh yeah, okay, so the canker sore is entirely inside the mouth. Yeah. When I used to have canker sores as a kid, I remember having this little vial that my mother would put on them. It was called cankersaurus. Yeah, you uh, told me about this. Yeah. I tried it. And it worked or didn't work? Didn't make a damn thing. Nothing work works. Nothing works. Nothing Completely works. useless. You ever run into things in life where you're like, wow, there's no fix for this. Yeah. And you're and you're certain there must be. Yeah, but there isn't. Let me give you an example. Yeah. Okay. For my bathroom, you know, I did my custom bathroom when I redid the apartment. I wanted a carpet mat, a bathroom mat, that I could custom shape yes. to the right side. No one will make you a custom bathroom shaped mat. Because yeah. I wanted one that went around the toilet and made a big area, because you know I like to I'm a big guy, you know, I'm, it's gonna drip everywhere. What I wanted to do, and I've looked into this, is a custom sized one from the shower and the toilet in one rug. But there's only one company that makes them and they wouldn't respond to my emails. I'll give you another one. Yeah. Nintendo Switch. Yeah. If you don't have a tempered glass screen protector, if you nick your plastic screen, yep. there's nothing you can do. No protection at all. In my case, I dropped it. You can order a new screen online, a third party screen online and yeah. try to change it yourself. Oh destroy the integrity of the thing. There's been a lot of times over the course of this show, six years now, Cracker Barrel was, was one of the most notable ones. Yeah. The Kraft Food Dye was another example. Yep. Mac and cheese candy canes. There's been a few things now where it's like you guys must address that. I guess if we were chasing SEO, we would like have known this was coming yes. and then like bought it the day of and like got the episode out. Like made a big ceremony out of it. Something I've noticed about people, they would much rather wait for the Box Mac episode to see what we thought yep. before buying than they would just investing 96 cents and seeing for themselves. If there was a reviewer who consistently reviewed a product that I really liked, I might wait for their review to go take a look at it. Yeah, it's true. There's some like video game news that I follow. There are certain personalities where I would expect them to talk about the thing immediately. Yeah. And I would at least know their opinion before. But mac and cheese is so very niche. I suspect we're still the only mac and cheese show. Yeah, like dedicated mac and cheese show. How do you feel about the Cheetos snack? I am way more of a cheese ball guy. I actually like the less concentrated corn because Cheetos are very like crunchy. I'm with you that the Oots cheese balls are better. Sorry, uh, who makes Cheetos? PepsiCo. Sorry, PepsiCo. Does seem to be a lot of enthusiasm around new mac and cheeses though. People like mac and cheese. They do. I don't understand why this show never took off. The Cheeto snack has kind of leaned into this spicy stuff. The spicy is super popular right now. I think we kind of hit the spicy peak and we're on the down curve. But if you remember for a while, like spicy things at Taco Bell, a much smaller, more compact spiral. You know what it's gonna taste like. Yeah. Mostly hot steam water. Look at that psycho on the branding. <laughs> You still use that thing all the time? Yeah, I make a lot of tea. Matt always wants to offer. I've never once said, yeah, Matt, put a hot cup of tea on for me. He well, asks, you're not a much of a tea drinker. Yeah, but he doesn't remember. He doesn't commit it to memory. Every time I'm like a fresh person to him. I'll say one thing for these Cheetos, Max. It doesn't look to me like they're gonna flake to bits. You know how spirals, they shred up? Yeah, the spirals are definitely more robust, which is a good thing. It's like a full-fledged rotini. That's a lot more spiral than I'm used to. The microwave ones are a lot more like the normal mac and cheese spiral. Since I started eating differently, I'll buy like a stick of cheese and I'll just like every now and then slice up a few little things of cheese. I'll just like, very French of me. Sure, very French. I remember there used to be this nice little restaurant I used to go to where you could get the French lunch, a place called Fatuli's down in Middletown. And it would uh, come with fresh fruit, sometimes uh, chocolate dipped strawberries, for example, slices of cheese and bread. Well, every week we buy big fresh grapes, yep. especially in the summertime. They're always so delicious. Yeah. They almost hydrate you. Yeah, I'll have a, little, a few grapes with, with some cheese. I love grapes. But I, I've been buying the sharp white cheddar from Cracker Barrel. Yep. And it does very much taste like their mac and cheese cheese. It does. We've had some ups and downs with Cracker Barrel. I'd say they're still a top tier. I think they're just difficult for a guy like you to stock because of their expense. I've been stocking them lately. I've yeah. gone back to them. Lately, I can only get the original or the sharp cheddar. I can't get the Harvati, even though it's my favorite. Really? I, Harvati's not my favorite. The white cheddar is. Really? I ordered it in from Walmart.com. Three fifty a box, which is still quite a bit, but I- So if you're ordering it. from Walmart, why not order the smoked Gouda Artisan Craft? Because Walmart is very strange in the fact that they don't stock a lot of the stuff they stock in stores on the website. Box Mac has really changed my perspective on a lot of mac and cheese related things. Yeah. There was a time when cups and Easy Macs and stuff were interesting to me. Yep. I find them disgusting, useless, uh, pointless, overpriced. It's very odiferous jalapeno powder. We haven't heard from mac and cheeses ever since we said that their second batch was bad. The creaminess is the same, but it's got the same amount of butter. Yeah, I gotta say, this is a step down. It's super 
buttery. Why do I taste like sugar? It's not nearly as good as the previous one was. The pasta's still just as good. Look, I actually went through and used every one of that second batch. Yeah? I loved the pasta so much, and I used the powder that was in them as a base, constructing a macaroni and cheese. I just would add a little, uh, like, sharp cheddar, like Cabot Sharp to it. All right, these are done. How about John's little ashtrays when he smokes? Hey, those are holding sugar, mister. How would you ever know me to smoke? In all seriousness, nobody likes cigarette smoke. This dude cannot be around it a little. No, I hate it. I will leave. The noodles look really nice. What a weird noodle debris. Some ramen. They brand the hell out of their cheese packet. Oh, oh, oh. They're like, it went up my nose. Look at that. Look at that. It, doesn't it look like the, that like colored sand that we saw at the fair? Oh my God, it looks gross. It's clearly artificial food coloring. Oh, look, 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 look. Look at this. This is what you're excited about? This is what we gotta review? Look at this. It looks like somebody's bleeding. It looks horrible. Ew. That is so red and so stupid. It looks like a weird like horror sequence where they're like, I was just cooking and then it was bloody. Oh, that's not appetizing. It doesn't even look like right. tomato. It just looks. They're trying to make it look like a stupid snack. It does look like a blood splatter from like the 70s. Very vibrant cheese color. It reminds me of like old mac and cheese. Super orange. Back in the bad old days. In the heat of the summer night in the land of the dollar bills. Man, I'm not looking forward to that Red Mac. So the normal looking one with green specks is jalapeno, obviously. We're gonna try the bold first. It tastes like Cheetos cheese. Yeah, overly strong even. I, I can see a kid liking this because it's like, wow, Cheetos mac and cheese. It is very bold flavored. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I feel like I'm a little too old for this. In all um, seriousness, it's not bad. Before we go to the jalapeno, let's try the, the microwave one first. Yeah, it's exactly what I would expect. No cheese, all spice, yep. and too, way too spicy. Yeah. The hot water taste of like a, an Easy Mac. Yeah, really lousy. Weak, wimpy noodles. Like I just can't imagine. Yeah, it's no good at all. Let's see if the made one is better. I mean, it's better than the microwave one, but. Yeah, because the pasta is better and because I detect cheese. It's butter, yeah. I actually detect cheese and butter and stuff. And it's not quite as spicy. So it's, it's everything that that is, but a little bit better. Yeah, it's actually not that bad if you want a spicy mac and cheese. Right. I think it's kind of nice. I think it's a little too spicy. Yeah, I kind of agree. But if you like a jalapeno taste, I think that you could go for this and it would be a good side dish. The red one. It disturbs me, to be honest. I find the color disturbing. You obviously shouldn't put it in your body. There's almost like an animal instinct about it. All right, here we go. Red. It reminds me of their flaming Hot Snack. It's a really building heat. So if you keep eating this, you're gonna be really, ugh, it's too much for me. Just essence of spiciness with no real like nice pepper flavor to go along with it. Yeah, it's like, let's just take artificial spice and overwhelm your Mac with it. Yeah, that's what that is. These are not precision Macs for people to like enjoy, right? They're gimmicky. This is a f***ing scam. I think that the Red Hot doesn't taste like macaroni and cheese, it just tastes like pure chemical spice. Yeah. Which I guess is what their Red Flaming Hot snacks taste like anyway. Yeah, sh I think the jalapeno isn't bad if you like a jalapeno mac. I think it's actually one of the slightly better jalapenos, if you're into that. Yeah. Strong for me though. I think it's too spicy. And the Bold and Brash is definitely bold and brash. It just tastes all synthetic and chemically. Do you feel like you get the 96 cents thing now? I do. This is meant to promote the Cheetos brand. It'll be gone in a few months. I think you're right. If I can say one nice thing about them, the, the spiral pasta was... was uh, Way better than your normal macaroni and cheese spiral. Yeah. Not my favorite Max, and just stay away from this. Any of the Kraft premium Max are about the same price, like a three cheese. Slice up some fresh jalapenos in that. Steam those jalapenos for 30 seconds beforehand in the microwave. You got a way better Max than this is. Try them all you can, I guess, if you want, but... If you must. Yeah, I... I we did. We musted. We must, but <laughs> you don't have to. It's okay. Yeah. All right, we'll turn the jalapeno hit you right up front. Not You're, bad, actually. I, I, I kind of like this one. I didn't mind it. If you like a, a really strong spicy jalapeno, it's not bad. The bold is the best one, easily. It's very cheesy, but yeah, very artificial. I don't even want to eat this. No, you don't. I like the jalapeno one, but it's very jalapeno Wow. Taste. You could just, I just touched that to my tongue and I could feel the heat. Yeah, it's just, it's just heat and nothing else. 96 cents of, of heat. Oh, it's, yeah, it's just heat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God, there is no f***ing drummer better than Neil Peart! It ain't easy being cheesy.